1822. So I want to talk about Dean Ambrose, the WWE champion. Dean Ambrose has been the most disappointing performer in the WWE today. This guy on the Stone Cold Steve Austin podcast came off so bad. This guy didn't carry himself like he was somebody who worked for the WWE. You know, when I watched Stone Cold, told him, you know what? You got to have, like, you know, a fire lit under you. Because you can tell Dean Ambrose has that title, and he ain't taking that ball, and he ain't trying to run to the end zone with it. Ambrose comes off such as a lazy performer. The same guy on that Austin podcast called Brock Lesnar lazy. He the one has been very lazy. The W decided let's put, you know, the belt on Dean Ambrose. Now, Dean Ambrose is always destined to get the title someday. And I always supported Dean Ambrose of getting that title. He finally got it, but it seems like he just, you know, I got it. Okay, cool. It's like, it's not like, yes, I'm the champion and I'm going to put on the best matches. I'm going to perform for this company and I'm going to get fans to cheer and love what I'm doing. I haven't seen that from Dean Ambrose at all. This guy had a piss poor match with Dolph Ziggler at SummerSlam for the W title. It didn't feel like a W title match. That was the weakest W title match ever to take place at SummerSlam. I watched AJ Styles and Dolph Ziggler had a good match. Chris Jericho, Dean Ambrose, two matches. Not good. Chris Jericho always had good matches. And Dean Ambrose could have a good match with Chris Jericho? His last best match was against Triple H at, um, what do you call it again? Uh, Roblox. And that's why I was like, okay, I like what Dean Ambrose is doing. The crowds really get behind him. Since he captured that title, it don't feel like the crowd really into Dean Ambrose. He don't look like a W champion. He just somebody just holding a belt for somebody to take it off him. And that's the way it comes off. And it's a shame because Dean Ambrose is a talented performer. But he been piss poor for a long time. I can't remember the last time I said, damn, that was a good match from Dean Ambrose. That promo was a damn good promo from Dean Ambrose. In the days of the Shield, Dean Ember was cutting amazing promos. I said, this guy, the best promo cutter in the business. He stands out. Now Dean Ember don't stand out. He looks like a joke. It's like looking at somebody who is a common relief and he's champion. He coming off as one of those guys. When I watch Dean Ember, it's like, this is a mid-card guy holding the title for no reason. This is not a W champion. You know, Seth Rollins had, you know, a bad reign. But you can see that Seth Rollins actually cared. It's like this guy do not care. He's a baby face. And he don't show anything like a John Cena. Or like a Roman Reigns. What's going on with this guy? I really want to belt off this guy. Hopefully AJ Styles defeated him at Backlash. I do not want to see a series of matches. I wish it could be one and done. That's it. But you can't do it like that. But after he loses his belt to AJ Styles or whatever... I do not want to see Dean Ambrose be the W champion anytime soon until he start getting back to that good performer because Dean Ambrose is somebody who should be able to put on good matches consistent. Roman Reigns is the one who got the you can't wrestle chance on Monday night in that Brooklyn crowd, but Dean Ambrose has been getting the pass for the past couple months because he hasn't put on a good match in a long time. Dolph Ziggler and Ambrose should have been a solid match. It wasn't even solid. It was average. And I'm glad W, you know, had that match in the middle of the show because the way Dean Ambrose has been the last couple of months, there's no need to ever put this guy in the main event. So he lucky they got a brand split. So he going to close the show with AJ Styles. But overall as a performer, this guy sucks right now. And it's a shame that when you get the championship and then you start going down. Once you're the champion, you're supposed to go up. But Dean Ambrose is going down. I don't get it. Why is this guy a big disappointment since Roblox? Everything just been going downhill. And he should get a lot more criticism from the wrestling fans. But every time, you know, I go on YouTube, I don't see any criticism for Dean Ambrose. Why is Dean Ambrose getting the pass? Can somebody tell me? Why is he getting his big pass? Just a terrible champion. 
terrible character. His character is not what they tell it is. He did also mention it on Austin Podcast. So W need to shred that he is this lunatic friends because they're not lunatic about Dean Ambrose. He don't do anything when you say, oh my God, Dean Ambrose is really crazy. What is Dean Ambrose? What is really Dean Ambrose's gimmick? Because he don't really have a character at all. It just Sunday gave him and he just doing it. But it don't feel real at all. It's very forced. Just right now, Dean Ambrose is the most overrated character in the WWE. That's what he is. Even though I say he had no character, you still got to call him character at the end of the day because they betraying us something. So, how I see this video right here about Dean Ambrose, this piss poor performer for the last couple months on W Television. Hopefully, down the line, that fire get back under Dean Ambrose. So, how you see this video? Give me your thoughts on this. Don't forget, hit the subscribe button. I'm out. Peace.